going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Weston Smith here and we are going to be doing a bank fishing video today but it was not filmed today. It's actually like 20 degrees out in Texas probably for the next week. We might even have some hard water down south y'all. It's going to get crazy but we have a bank fishing video for you guys. Devin and I get out and slay with the saucy swimmer. You can bait swim bait and I just want to do a quick rundown on a couple different ways to throw this thing uh, according to the season, according to water clarity, maybe talk about retrieves just for a brief second and then we're going to get right into it and just showcase a bunch of catches that we got at this uh, private water fishing property actually when we were out doing a day with them maybe a month or two ago on the kayaks. But after fishing this property's larger lake, we went over to the smaller pond that you can bank fish. Uh, with private water fishing, it's set up so if you're a member, you can actually rent a spot to get an entire lake all to yourself, totally private for the entire day. Pretty slick little system. A lot of properties around Texas in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, and even expanding into San Antonio areas. Check them out down below. Let's talk about the saucy swimmers real quick, you guys, and then get to fishing. I mean, simply put, you can utilize these baits in so many different ways. A soft plastic swim bait is going to get bites 365 days a year. You can entice bites when they are actually and real finicky by sizing down as well as go for the big trophy bass with some larger sizes so let's talk about it uh, I'm gonna go in no specific order by the way but real quick while it's winter time let's talk about one of the ways to get the most bites and get the least amount of skunks if you guys are having trouble go ahead and set yourself up a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on a Ned rig now the color you go with might depend on whether you're fishing clear water or maybe a slight stain. You're going to want to go with something more natural and greenish if you're talking about fishing really clear water and probably switch over to those shad colorations uh, whenever you're fishing more stained water. Dropping down in size on something like a Ned Rig with an exposed hook, throwing it on spinning gear oftentimes is going to be one of the ways to catch the most fish. And I like to work this along the bottom depending on how the grass is in the lake or what kind of cover you're talking. You pop it almost like a little Texas rig down there on the bottom. Using the rod tip movement and those big bass are going to come and absolutely chomp this and you can also swim it so you can kind of vary things up maybe they're not hanging out down low and slow maybe they want it a little bit quicker and they're chasing you can go ahead and just cast and reel almost like a, a, a crankbait but with a small little soft plastic and nice kick you can really get a lot of bites on these guys so that's one way I like to throw it and then as springtime approaches one of the best ways to catch a ton of fish big fish too in the shallows is going to be something like the Guggen Squad clickbait and then put one of those saucy swimmers on as the trailer just trying to match the skirt and the color of your main lure there. So starting the bidding off with black and blue, I threw this a lot in clear water when I first got started with bladed jigs but uh, as time went on I usually go with something more like a bluegill color. This is the blue craw and you can see I've got that saucy swimmer just matched to pair up and you want to go with a length that's going to still allow that tail to kick. But we've got some different colorways here. If you're really fishing the chocolate milk, I, I like to go with shad and chartreuse these days but the vibration from this blade and the sound from these beads is really going to draw the fish in on something like the bladed jig with the saucy swimmer as a trailer just showing you how versatile those saucy swimmers can be. Springtime is right around the corner man and you're going to be getting a lot of hits on these casting shallow whether you're on the bank casting out or you're on your boat casting towards the bank you're going to get some bites. One of the best ways to rig up your saucy swimmer is actually as a trailer on a spinner bait. When I'm fishing windy or stained water or a combination I'm almost guaranteed to have a spinner bait tied on because you can work them a little bit slower give those fish a chance to see it draw them in from as far as possible because of all the flash on those different blades and really have an opportunity to catch some big fish as well. They like that larger presentation and they will absolutely hammer it. So I've got this Shad and Chartreuse rigged up. I believe that's the 3.8 inch. And then I've got a 3.3 inch right here on the back of a Zinger. So a couple different ways to rig it up on a spinner bait. Now let's talk about a pretty clear water tactic and working through the grass. If you really want to get down into the grass, something like a Grass Hero Swim Jig is going to be phenomenal for you guys. This color right here kind of mimics almost like a crawl or a bluegill. You can really get away with this uh, in either case. On these swim jigs, a lot of time my retrieve is different than when I'm throwing like the clickbait or the zinger and a steady retrieve. A lot of times with these saucy swimmers, what I like to do is cast it right up in the thick grass, hydrilla, things of that nature, and I'm kind of popping the rod and reeling at the same time. So what's happening is I'm almost popping it, getting that skirt to push through the grass and then also kind of shedding off any grass that might be getting caught up on this thing as I am reeling it in. So that kind of like pop and reel technique works really good. But this is a way to get in the thick stuff where you're not going to be throwing some of those exposed hook baits. This has got a lighter hook guard typical on your swim jigs. So what's going to happen is it's easier to get that hook penetration when they do bite, but you're not going to get a ton of grass on that hook as you're working through it. So the Saucy Swimmer is absolutely an awesome option for those Grass Hero swim jigs if you're working through some thick stuff. 
I was about to set this down, but it's a good time to kind of mention this. You know, like when would I go with the bladed jig over the swim jig? Well, if I'm gonna be getting down in the thick grass, I definitely gotta go with this guy right here. You're not gonna be getting stuff caught on the blade, but you'll be able to work through it and catch those bass that are in the grass, right? This guy, I'm gonna be working in open water or along the grass edges, or just in the shallows in general covering water. So that is kind of the difference for me on those bladed jigs versus those standard swim jigs. And then lastly, and one of my favorite ways to throw these swim baits, whether this is clear water or stained water, this works pretty well because we've got some flash from an underspin. So this is a pretty common technique. And the way we have this rigged, the hook is not exposed. So it's a little bit different than the, the bladed jig. It's also a little bit different than the spinner bait, a little bit different than the Ned rig too. With that exposed hook, yes, you'll be able to get a higher hookup ratio, but with this guy right here, you push it up and you are completely weedless. So you can work through the grass and you can draw those fish in with the blade right there. So this is something that I will work through some more sparse grass. If the grass is a little bit thinner, I definitely want to kind of get down in there with this right here and bring those bass in. If the grass is very thick, I'm definitely going with the grass hero. Now this is also the larger size, it's going to attract some big bass. Devin and I actually were out on the hot tamale and caught almost a six pounder, or maybe it was six, on this exact setup right here. This is the Gobi Color Saucy Swimmer. It's now one of the biggest bass we've caught while taking out the boat on the Saucy Swimmer in the 4.8 inch largest size, rigging it up on that underspin hook. And I want to say this is probably a quarter ounce. And the brilliant part about this is if you have this rigged up, it really works in almost all the scenarios these other baits do. What I mean by that is you have some draw from the blade, so you've got a little bit of flash in case it's stained. However, if it's clear, it's not overkill. You know, it almost just looks like a little bait fish swimming together and these fish will come and attack it whether it's clear or not. It doesn't deter them. So clear or stained water, this is great. Now, whether you're fishing grass or open water, again, this works because it's weedless and so you can really work this anywhere in the water column. You can go all the way down low and slow or you can cast and reel in the shallows or even work it mid column. It just depends on how fast you're cranking it. So a lot of opportunity to fish this guy right here. It's almost got a little bit from that spinner bait and then it's almost got a little bit from the blade a jig which is more vibration well you've got a fatter kick on this larger size right here so that helps disturb more water and bring those fish in as well as the fact that you're weedless so this is maybe the all-around favorite at this point and I have taken so much longer telling you guys about these baits than I thought I was going to when I started this off but I promise you we're about to catch a bunch of fish on these things if you want to pick some up googansquad.com use code west and 10% off let's go ahead and catch some fish oh good one hey <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, Devin's on in like the first few casts over here, right off the dock. Or she was casting towards the dock from the bank. I'm casting off the dock. Got him! <laughs> Alright. First cast when I switched to what Devin's throwing, I, uh, I got him. All right, well, that's how we start things off at the Blue Bonnet Ridge property, second pond. You guys probably saw the first one where Devin and I tore them up on the kayaks uh, recently. And we're getting things started over here. Still throwing the same saucy swimmer because the thing is, these fish are all about the moving bite. There we go. Just as I say that. Just as I say, you think they're a little deeper? Little mouth, big belly. All right. Bye, bud. He's got his pinchers up. He's looking mad. I wonder how bad. Can't hurt that bad. There we go. Oh shoot, I'm stuck in the bush and I pulled it out of his mouth. Oh, Jesus, that was a big old bullfrog. I don't know. Oh little guy <laughs> nothing over three pounds yet I don't think <laughs> he might have ripped my oh no we're all in, we're in good shape see you buddy yeah saucy swimming looking good he's swimming right in front of you uh. oh oh <laughs> that like didn't just take the tail <laughs> he got the whole thing that goby got got on this thing right now? I can't even tell. Yeah. 
I'm like, I'm like, I felt a tick when it hit the bottom, and then there was like nothing. Oh, your goops. Yeah. Is he out? He got position? screwed on that one. I'm like, this thing got picked up on the drop. Jeez. Little guy, I was expecting that one to be bigger whenever I did get him on though. I was thinking he was swimming towards me and I bet you I just like missed him because he just grabbed it real, oh man. All right, tiny little guy. He's dark green, he's out deep in the grass. I don't think this is gonna work no more. Oh, dip. oh, cast afterwards. What you got, what you got? Keep it, keep it tight. Crank, crank, crank. Don't stop cranking. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's the biggest one at the pond. <laughs> uh, you got it now. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. You might are you gonna bank flip him? I don't know. Oh wow, how big is he? I don't know. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I don't know. Woo! Devoured. I wonder if that's the one that got your tail. Oh, I feel like it had to have been. <laughs> Alright guys, first good one out of the pond coming at you on that saucy swimmer. You know, that is just the MVP of today. As soon as Weston grabbed the saucy swimmer, first cast caught a fish. That's just what these fish are wanting today. Let's just keep throwing it. Let's get him on the scale, see if we can't get some more. Come on, uh, dude. Oh, there uh, we go. There <laughs> oh. Three pounder. Sweet, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. Here's another little guy. He's got two pinchers. He's mad. He don't look happy at all. He's bubbling at the mouth. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, he's trying to swim away, but he's not swimming. <laughs> oh, oh God. There we go. Yeah, ways. Uh-huh. Golly, these hooks. When they get in, they get in. All right, bud, go grow up to be a big old six-pounder. Oh. We're going to make it in time. His nose is in the water. He thinks he's swimming. He's off to the races. I think he's still on. <laughs> Get back in there. All these things are grabbing it and then swimming so fast. I set the hook and there's just nothing but slack. I don't even know if I got a fish on. The cow skeleton. How big? Oh, he's got you, huh? Yeah. How big? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> He's not little. No, he's not little. That's a healthy fish. That's a three pounder. He, he was smoked barely it. Hooked too. Dang! It just came out. I had to keep tension. Uh -oh. He smoked it. Time oh, for man. dinner. <laughs> Success at private water fishing. Blue Bonnet Ridge, man. That's how you hit the banks with some saucy swimmers. One rod, one reel, one Back bait. Head. Yeah. Well, we got the backpack, but one rod, one reel fishing out here. Fishing it's been a while. Everyone's Pond requesting the bank mission. stuff because we don't do as much anymore. So yeah, this is a, look. This is as bank as it gets. Oh, that was a fun fight. I thought he was much bigger. The way he hit and totally tugged my entire rod over to the side. I was like, oh, big fish, big fish. I don't know. Probably a good solid. Ah, I'd say he's over three. Might be the last fish of the evening. So we're gonna go ahead and get back in the water. Ugh. Peace. There we go. Goodness. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You have been giving me trouble. My past three cats. Ah. Back in. Hey! Getting loaded up here and figured I'd cast a few more times from the dock. I don't even know how many fish we've caught out of here at this point. How many? Bite. 